Hi and welcome back to AWE USA 2023 and see who I found here directly off the plane. I'm here with Stan Larock, the CEO and founder of Lynx. First of all, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, it has been a while since we met. I think probably in Prague we met at the Sonium Connect and also yeah. in Paris, right? Yeah, that was that was a year and a half, yeah. two, year, two years ago almost. Yeah. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's a very long time. So in that time, what happened? Well, what happened yeah. is that when you when we saw each other in Paris, you were one of the first to actually see what we were working on and like the pr the, the promise of links and what we are going to bring to the to this market with like pass through hand tracking, right. six dof standalone all together. Right. It was very early at the time we were doing the Kickstarter, um, so people were kind of curious. And now, after those two years. Uh, it took a lot of time and effort, and we underestimated hardware is a lot hard. of things. Yeah, <laughs> hardware is hard. We know it. Yes. I mean, I think everyone <laughs> at the conference gets that now, and you know, the, with the companies that are involved in the in the space now, you can see it's a it's a difficult market. But r right now, two years after that, we are shipping, uh, and I'm here to show what people will get uh, actually next month uh, when we deliver the headset. I even less than next month, in a few weeks only what people will get. So those are final units coming from the factory. Okay. And we, we are demoing here at AWE. Perfect. And wow, I'm so happy that I just saw you yeah. getting your badge. <laughs> We're going to be the first actually here to, uh, to see it, to see the device and to, to check it out as well. So this is going to go out like this now in a couple of weeks to, Absolutely. to the Kickstarters, uh, to, pe to your customers who exactly. bought it. Yeah. And yeah. Okay, so interesting question is, um, who is your main customer? Is it uh, the consumer or is it more like the B2B customer? So today we really are uh, uh, talking a lot with B2B customers. Like I would say 70% of our customers are uh, B2B. And, but, we, but the trend is that we're seeing more and more B2C. Like, you know, before it was just early adopters, like for example, yeah. or Kickstarter yeah, orders right. and all that. But we're seeing more and more people uh, wanting to experience those devices from, you know, from all over the world and, and in any class or profession. Enthusiast. Yeah, and, uh, yeah early out of there, enthusiast, okay. and then we'll see maybe even more uh, masses coming to, to the field, yeah. All right, so you know what? I'm sure there's a few people who don't know yet the links. How, how about you give it a, a <coughs> one minute introduction? I know you've done this a thousand times, but again. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm always happy to, to do it. Well, links is basically this today. It's the links R1. It's a standalone mixed reality headset. So mixed reality, it means that it can do VR. It can also do AR with those two big cameras here. Those are color cameras and you, which enable you to see through the headsets. It's ha as simple as that, really. And we have a crazy optical system which allows us to have a very good image quality and a very thin headset, um, which, I mean, shows and highlights the design of the headset, which is not like most of the competition. Um, so that, that is our first and main product and we are working on, on, on the future as well. Okay, cool. So last time when I checked it out, we had to connect it to a laptop, right? Yeah. To, to do the demos. The yeah. demos were amazing. I love them with the sun and stuff. Yeah. And, but it still needed a laptop. Now everything is self-contained. <coughs> we don't need anything obviously anymore, right? How far in development is the software? So. It's, it's what we've been really working on for like the past eight months, I would say, which is like battery profiling, power profiling, software updates, web browsing, uh, you know, application lifecycle, all those boring stuff that, you know, people don't usually see, but you have to get them very right, even better uh, fine tuning that uh, you need on a smartphone. And we did that. Uh, so right now we have something that we are proud of and that we can actually ship. So we both have devices coming out of the factory with a very good software. I mean, you tried some of that. Yeah. Six Dove is much more precise okay. hand tracking. The, even with the without the cable, it's not laggy anymore. Uh, so we okay. we made a lot of uh, optimizations. Perfect. So now there's uh, your own operating system. Like you showed me before, like you double click and then you will see the menu floating in front of you. So Tell it, us a bit more about it's, that. It's um, the operating system is uh, <coughs> Android, which is sure. behind a lot of the headsets sure. today. But the, the, I, I would say the, ba the base layout is our own uh, design and our own, uh, I mean, we work across the, the full stack of the headset from the drivers all the way to the application layer. And so we control everything and we made our own interpretation of 
what we think of a launcher. Do, we, do you need to set up the Guardian immediately or not? And all of that, we redesign everything from the ground up. Okay, cool. Yeah, so l let's put it on. Yeah. <laughs> well, That's what we're here to do, put it on people's heads. So it's very simple to put on like a hat, basically. You just have a knob at the back here. This strap here is optional, but let's put it on. Okay. I see you have glasses, so right. we can actually adjust the headset for ah. Sebastian glasses. Uh, with that button here, you can actually modify the eye relief, which is the distance between I your eyes. You know and what? I didn't even know that it can do that. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> it's it's Good pretty it's pretty convenient. All right, so I will I will let you play with it. Um, so um, I'm now just going to see the task remote, or is there any kind of demo? Or yeah, there, there are some demos. So yeah. you are going to <coughs> be in the home application, and from right. there there are like a few sample application. You can try. Okay. Um, if you want, you can see the planetarium demo. I think yes, um, that would be good again. It's yeah. uh, it's yeah. right on the middle. You'll see like demo planetarium. You just click on it for three seconds, and yeah. it will it will okay. launch right up. Okay. All right. Let's try. So remember, you can double click if you need to recenter the panel. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so this is completely new. Because now I have like a, a menu floating in front of me and also I see my, my hands. And what I can directly tell you is that this pass-through is perfectly depth correct. Like if I would compare this with, um, yeah, with, with the Quest Pro um, color pass-through, this pass-through is without a doubt better. Absolutely. Yeah, so congrats to this, first of all, right? <laughs> Thank you. So I think this is an important point. Yeah. The, the color pass-through being death correct. You like can trust the image. You, you can, you can, trust, you can trust the image. Right. So also, since, um, yeah, on the sides, I see the real world. Basically, it is like uh, yeah, a human vision FOV. And, but here, the magic happens in, in this area, <coughs> right? In this front area, but I can still see the standard reality. Um, what is new now? I have uh, this menu floating in front of me. That's cool. That's new. So, so I can move around and the menu stays exactly uh, where I put it. But as you just told me, I can get it back by uh, clicking a, a button here. Like double click this button. Uh, right? uh, yeah, on the right. Yeah, yeah. double click. Okay. Okay. Woo. <laughs> and here it is now. I see, the, I see the menu now here. And okay, let me try this now. Uh, I see um, three. I see three tabs. I see apps. I see media. I see settings. <coughs> Probably you can try. I, I think you're not going to see it because uh, the, the lenses are so crazy. Yeah. No, right? Cannot see. Uh, I, I, I don't think it's yeah. a good idea yeah. to try. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then yeah. Um, yeah. Um, apps, media, settings, and I'm on the app tab now. And let me simply click on the demo planetarium. You really have to click through. Oh, okay, um, I have to uh, click. Okay, and now it happens. Yes. Okay. It works. So last time, this was connected to a laptop. <laughs> and um, now, we don't need this anymore. And okay, so let me tell you what I see right now. <laughs> I see my team member, Marco, <laughs> who, is, who is there exactly, filming me. And right next to him, I see a huge... Um, 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 sphere and the planet system <laughs> that is really cool so I walk into the this uh, orb yeah right and now I only see um, the planets okay now here I still see the reality outside but here I don't see any more pass-through and I can take the planets oh yeah right here I take the planet and I go out of this orb, and now again I can see the actual reality. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. Stan, I love the demo already uh, in Paris, <laughs> and here now it is still as good. And I, I don't, I don't see Stan now because it is actually he is uh, he's behind this huge sphere. So if I wanted to see him, I would have to go here. And there, yeah, there I see him again. <laughs> cool. Yep, the magic of uh, of mixed reality. Cool, cool. Yeah, this is this is nice and interesting to see that this also works outside, right? On a very sunny day, yeah. 
on a sunny day. Cool, very nice, indeed. So, yeah, like, like with this pass-through, I could walk around actually and walk inside. Let's walk a bit, walk a moment. Yeah, the good thing, the good thing is indeed that this pass-through is depth correct. So I have a good idea about, about that. I could, I could see myself working like this. My hands are perfectly tracked. The, the hand tracking is with Ultra Leap, right? Correct, yeah. So yeah, the, the tracking is really nice. And the funny thing is now I can look out of there and I can still see the, the sphere that I've set up before. So basically the, the tracking works really well. Yeah, I think we yeah. can say that now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very nice. Very cool to see that finally you can ship this out to people. Congress to this. People can look forward to get it. And um, yeah, let me get this off. Yeah, cool. Wish you all the best for for showing this off at this. I know, I know you have showed this off to so many people at these expos, right? Yeah. So the last time the last time that we see um, Stan show this off before. Lots of people are going to get this. Yeah, Stan, thanks so much for, yeah. for giving me the demo again. Thank you so much, Sebastian. Yeah. And um, yeah, as you can look forward to the links are one finally going into the hands of people. So yeah, he's going to throw it out to people. Um, give it a thumbs up and do leave your comments with any kind of comments about the links are one. And we're looking forward to see you in the next episode. Until then, bye bye. <laughs>